สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Annie Take on Thai. Today we r e gonna show you how to make mango curry, nice and fruity for the summer time like this. It's really nice, creamy. Let's talk about the ingredient. And so we're gonna have like a chili paste here. In Thailand, they call g a m p e t a quite common curry in Thailand. As half the red chili, and um, this is the fennel seed, the coriander seed. The g a l a n g o root, of course, the lemon grass. This is the guy, and we use only on the tip of it. And we have this is in Thailand they call magroot, and it's the kefir lamb leaf fruit. Uh, it's hard to find in Utah where I am, but uh, we got it in California, and then uh, they're quite citrus, and they're really nice. We use just the skin outside. So those are the ingredients for our red curry paste. Um, coconut milk, as a m a p r o i coconut milk, this is the one that I use. Um, it's nice and creamier than the other. It's the mango, and uh, the carrot, the bell pepper, and the sweet peas. We're gonna have like a turmeric in there too. Fish sauce. And uh, for some people who are vegetarian, we have soy sauce. We like to use the um, palm sugar on this curry because it's like nicer and uh, almost like a caramel taste to it. Um, or the, if you don't ha can find that, you can use the brown sugar. And uh, our protein today is the chicken. The Thai people peel the mango differently. The Thai people always peel it outside. I use my Pointy finger to help hold the knife, and we peel it and we pull it out just like that. Now, like you can see how smooth the mango got peeled, and then you can see how much I didn't take the meat away at all. It's like still have like just take only the skin now. When we cut the mango, though, we always cut angle one side it out. And then we angle the other side, so that's where you take all the meat out. So all the sweet peas, they have like a stringy thing, right at the on the side there. Sometimes people use the finger to just like a fingernail to pull it out. I like knife. So I'm gonna pour. Half of my coconut milk in there. Not all of them, just half at the beginning, and then I'm gonna put the curry paste in there. I like it a little bit spicy. Usually, it's about tablespoon to tablespoon and a half, and so since I use the teaspoon, so I'm gonna put it pretty heap. I'm gonna put it in there and a little bit more, and now I'm gonna stir this. And melt all the chili paste out to not make it clump. And I'm gonna let it simmer a little bit, and then I'm gonna add the meat in there when it's a little bit hotter. But it start getting like this kind of like a white color as already start cooking, and so I'm gonna add. It's like get pretty thick, and then so I gotta add a little bit coconut milk in there. So I add the carrot after the chicken get cooked a little bit, and so it's like this chicken is getting white cooked already. And then now I gonna add the mango in there because it's like I want the mango to be cooked in there a little bit, but not too long. So you probably put in there about a minute or two, and then I gonna put my seasoning in there. This. Palm sugar, and uh, the easiest way, if you cut it a little bit, is will be is pretty hard, but it's not that hard. But if you cut it a little bit, it's gonna melt a little bit faster. But you don't want too much sugar in there either, because mango itself is pretty sweet. So I'm gonna put like one and a half, since I used the whole can of the coconut milk. Now I'm gonna add fish sauce. The magical Thai ingredient, fish sauce. Fish sauce is like it's not like soy sauce, you know. Soy sauce is quite salty, 
uh, more sharp or not salty, but fish sauce is actually have like a hinge of sweetness in there. So I put about two tablespoons of the fish sauce in there. And now I'm gonna add my bell pepper and I'm gonna add the sweet pea at the end. The reason I will add at the end because the sweet pea is nice when it's a little bit crunch. If it's uh, as soft, it doesn't taste good. And I always like the sugar snap pea because it gives you a nice, when you bite to it, burst out of all the juice and everything. And I add the sweet pea as much as you like. So we put in there and we turn it off. That's how we do. Because it's like the heat that uh, is cooked right here, gonna cook the sweet pea a little bit anyway. And you don't want it to cook it so much. And then, I'm gonna put the turmeric in at the end to let it melt into the curry. Um, and it's melt better when it's not so hot. Sometimes it's hot and it's like become, become like clump in there. Now it's like nice and smooth in here. Here's the mango curry. Have the sweetness of the mango. And then it's like, oh man, it's heaven. Thank you so much for watching any text on Thai, please like us on the Facebook or subscribe or yup. Yup us. Thank you. We'll see you next time.